thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss trigonometric equations. In number three, we've been told uh, to solve for data in the equation six, the cosine squared of data minus the sine of data minus four equals to zero in the range zero less than or equal to data, which is less than or equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, data ranges between zero and 180. Remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share the link with friends. What we're going to do is uh, to apply the trigonometric identity, which says that uh, the sine of an angle theta squared plus the, the cosine squared of an angle theta is usually equal to one. Now, in this case, because uh, the cosine of theta has been used, now we're going to express it. From this identity, we should know that the cosine squared of theta equals to one minus the sine squared of theta. So when we replace cosine squared of theta with this part, then we will be having six in that expression now, one minus the sine squared theta. This is the place of cosine squared theta, then minus the sine squared theta minus four equals to zero. Then we can have six minus six, the sine squared theta minus the sine of theta. Sorry, this is supposed to be sine of theta, not even squared. Yeah, that is supposed to be the sine of theta. Let me even uh, clear it. That should be the sine of theta. So now we're going to have sine of theta minus four is equivalent to zero. With this, now we can rearrange the equation such that uh, the sine of theta is let to be t. Let us let the sine of theta to be t. This means the equation can now be rewritten as, remember again, six and negative four can be combined to be positive two. So we will have two minus 6t squared minus t equals to zero. So what you should have now is uh, we can rearrange the equation so that the part with t squared begins. So 6t squared plus t minus 2 is equivalent to zero. So this can now be solved uh, quadratically such that uh, we need a product of negative 12, that is uh, A times C, and a sum of positive one. So now what you're going to have here is a, a four and a negative three. Those are the factors which when multiplied, they give us negative 12, and when added, they give us a positive one. So we're going to have 60 squared plus 4t minus 3t minus 2 equals to 0. So that now we will talk of 2t, then we remain with 3t plus 2. Then uh, when we factor out here, we're going to have a negative 1, so that we remain with 3t plus 2 equivalent to 0. So 2t minus 1, and 3t plus 2 are all equals to 0. So that the value of t is equivalent to either half, or that is when we equate this one, the first, the first root here with 0, and also the other factor here with 0, we will get a 3t equals to negative 2. So t equals to negative 2 out of 3. So with this now, we can get the values of data because what had been led to be the sine of data is t. And therefore, if sine of data is led to be t, and now we are having the value of t, we can now substitute and say the sine of data is equivalent to half, and also the sine of data is equivalent to negative to that. So with this knowledge, now we can get data 
which is an acute angle by taking the sine inverse shift sine of half this is going to be exactly 30 degrees it should also be known that uh, 30 degrees found in the second quadrant will also give us the same sign and so that is why we should work with an angle of 150 degrees also this is equivalent to 30 degrees in the second quadrant this is 30 degrees in the first quadrant so those are two possible angles which can fit this range the next one uh, signs are negative in the third and the fourth quadrant therefore even if we find this acute angle in the third and in the fourth quadrant the angle will already be greater than 180 and so we can only stick to 30 degrees 150 degrees